were struggling you know, offensively. The defense really stepped it up and kept us in that football game. Uh, and the defense continued, got us some turnovers. They continued to play hard. I know in the second half, gave up just a little over 100 yards. So, but it, it's typical United we stand and divided we'd fall. And, you know, we hung in there together. Uh, Offensively and defensively, and the defense was making plays. And then I thought the special teams sparked. You know, Boswell hits a 57-yard field goal. Uh, Derek Brown blocks a punt. Uh, where our special teams then started engaging. And then I thought Big Charles Ross just decided to, when he came out in the third quarter and lowered the shoulder, I think Charles had 157 yards rushing tonight. Um, you know, Charles just continued to play. Just, just proud of this football team, you know. Uh, fortunately, I, I coached the greatest young men in America, and I think you saw young men with great character just hang, hung in there. And uh, we couldn't have won that game a year or two ago. You know, I think we're growing up as a football team, and we've been through some hard times. I think that just shows some of those lessons we learned last year. You know, it's never going to be perfect, but you just keep playing with great effort. You just keep playing. You know, and those kids kept believing at some point we were going to win it, and that's, you know, ultimately, you know, what happened. But just proud, you know, to win it, to win any time, you know, is fun. It's hard to win in college. And to pull it off against a Big 12 opponent, you know, it's really special. Coach, do you want any more games like you had tonight where you got to pull it out at the end, or would you rather just... I will take every game like this and pull it out at the end. <laughs> I do that the rest of my life. You know, you know, because I, I mean this, when... We're going to learn a lot from this video, and, um, you know, we will get a lot better from this video, but it's a lot easier to teach uh, young men when they're winning. Sometimes it is when they're losing. And that, uh, you know, whoever, whoever said that old adage that you get more out of a loss than a win was not a coach. You know, I don't even know who made that up. But that was somebody else trying to feel good, because when you lose, it's no fun. We'll get a lot out of this video because the way we hung together. If you could have seen that locker room where, you know, the offense was thanking the defense for, for keeping us in that game and then started thanking the special teams. And, uh, we only scored 23 points. Defense only gave all we needed was 15. So the offense really performed. Michael Cussler got us going too early with that, you know, interception return. I think he tipped it himself, tipped it to himself and actually returned it. I didn't know Cuts was quite that fast. I was really impressed with probably been playing him out of position <coughs> all this time based on that foot speed. The Kansas defense had more success against your offense than, than the A&M defense. What were they doing differently? How did you, what kind of adjustments did you guys end up having to make? You know, they were just, they were playing a 50 front. And, uh, you know, a lot of it early, they were just getting after us. It was more, it wasn't so much adjustments as it was attitude. You know, we were just, we were getting out of hustle a little early. Getting out technique, and you know, finally, we I thought we drew a line in the sand. But it was just uh, we weren't playing very inspired football. We weren't playing with a chip on our shoulder. And that's what you have to do. And that, you know, that, that last one uh, touchdown that we scored. If you you saw an inspired offense, the way the offensive line blocked, the way the Mario Hole and Dante Moore blocked on that option to get Charles in. I mean, that's that's how it should have looked all all night. When you know, it, like I said, you got to play football with a chip on your shoulder. And you got to play inspired. you got to play passionate. And, uh, you know, real frankly, I didn't have them ready to go after the layoff. And uh, just glad that we got, in, got out of here with a win. You switched to drive for, for that uh, touchdown drive. Why was that? I really, just talking to Taylor on the sideline, didn't appear of, uh, I wanted their medical staff to look at him. Okay. Um, I, I just didn't. He wasn't responding quite right uh, to some of our questions, and you know, fortunately, Drafty sparked us. Do you know any more about that? Or I don't. But it, was en but it was enough for you. It was, it was enough where I was concerned that we put Drafty in. The game. So last year, boss told you need to eat like 40, 45. Why did he tell you to that tonight? <laughs> well, fortunately, <laughs> you know, we did. He, I thought he was a little early because we didn't need that field goal to win it. It wasn't quite as dramatic <coughs> as it was this year. But 57 yards, I think that's the 12th uh, field goal of over 50 in his career, and that's, that's just unbelievable. And, you know, when he, when he hits it, it's like he carries a golf bag out there. You know, when he goes out there and determines if he needs a driver or a five or a sandwich, and, you know, they just go across. They always go 
good throws and threw. You mentioned Michael Cutsler. He kind of sparked the defense early. Can you describe the impact he's had on this team so far? Well, it's a, it's a you know, he had an impact on this team last year. He's the best team player of the year. He's always made plays. He's just kind of flown on the radar. An opportunity came his way uh, this year. <coughs> Leading tackler, you know, against Texas A&M. You saw what he did tonight. He's always been a great player. He's just uh, and he's always worked hard, and he has always accepted his role. But he's never been happy with his role. And when opportunity came his way, he's made the best of it. Really, really thrilled for him and his football team. Elmo Michael's played. Dave, is it fair in your seven years defensively? You know, obviously this has never been. You know. Price has never been known for, no, for defense, but it's like this year you have a, a little bit more uh, the way you see this defense being able to materialize. Do you, do you feel like this is one of your better well, defense yeah, potential but, to be? Yeah, but I tell you, last year we held six opponents under 20 yards, so I think the, the, the personality and the character uh, of this defense started last year under Chris Thurman. I think he's done a great job of making sure we're, we're sound and our technique and structure and that the young men really play hard. Uh, I think it's what we're building on from last year, though. Did you talk about your run defense tonight and how you were able to uh, go up against Sims and those other running backs in Kansas? Yeah, you know, unfortunately, two of the, most of the yards came on where we missed a tackle. I'm not sure how that one run got out and that one pass I know we got. You know what, they were just gap sound and they played within the structure. But, you know, the thing about football is you have to be great, you have to be consistent. And I thought we were, we were considering, we're getting sometimes when they were trying to run the power play, for, you would see we were taking their offensive linemen back and they couldn't get their pullers out. Um, you know, it's just the interior. They're, they're both pretty good players. But I'm fired up. Got the Bayou bucket coming next week, huh? Uh, we're going to enjoy this one until tomorrow morning around 11. Then we're going to go back to work. Who's up, Charles? Charles. Come on, Thank you.